Hello, I'm Jeremy. This is a very small pad. My speakers are effing killer. You know, I'm not sure if this is caught on yet in the world, but it's called a dishwasher. Hello, I'm Jeremy. Uh, welcome to my cozy little condo. Come on in, I'd love to show you around. So uh, yeah, this is my condo that uh, I've now been living in since the winter of 2020. It is the theater lots in the north end of Halifax. The entire place was designed by this man named Michael Napier who is apparently quite an architect. Bear with me, there's a lot to go through. It's quite a large space. Just kidding, it's actually 496 square meters. Did I say square meters? I meant square feet. It, really small. This is a very small pad. And actually that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to live here. So I've always had a dream of actually living in a tiny home. Less is more for me. And so when I found this place, it really, really spoke to me. I'm really happy to be in such a compact, but cute little space. Kind of like donut here. You need a f***ing shoe, not a chew toy. Ooh. Uh, and this is Donut. Uh, donut is a 11 week old Labradoodle. He's the mop that came with the condo. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my tiny home that isn't a tiny home. I guess we can start with the couch. Especially since COVID popped off, I think one of the most important investments any homeowner can make is investing in a really good quality couch. The couch has gotta be stylish, it's gotta look good. I think this couch looks pretty good. It has to be comfortable, but not too comfortable. You wanna not, you know, get sucked into it too long. And this is exactly that couch, Donut. You and the shoes, dude, get off the shoes. Maybe now would be a good time to show you where I keep Donut's toys so that he doesn't chew the shoes of people who come here. So we have a collection of toys here. You know, dogs like squeaky things. Here you go, take that. Um, they like things that crinkle. I'm a big fan of this one here. Hey, here you go, buddy. How about that? And you can see he's playing on my yellow rug that I purchased from Ikea. And you might be wondering, why did I choose the color yellow? Well, it's so that if he pees on my floor, I don't really have to clean it up. So before I moved in here, I actually lived in uh, quite a larger house in the west end of Halifax. My wife and I had gotten that place um, furnished by an interior designer. And so all of the pieces of furniture that are here were actually selected for that house. And so when I made the move to this little spot, oddly enough, it fit kind of perfectly. Uh, fun thing about this pillow, this was a gift from a friend of mine that was given to me via a gift from another friend of mine. So let me explain. This gift was given to me by an old roommate. The inspiration for this gift came from this book. And this book was given to me by my friend who is currently holding this camera right now, Dave Culligan. And inside this book, my roommate found an artist that she really liked. She went to his website and found that he was selling pillows. And so she bought me a pillow from the artist that she found in the book that my other friend gave to me. I really like weird, bizarre art that makes you think or makes you feel uncomfortable. And I have a few pieces up in the space here that are really near and dear to my heart. I have several pieces here in the condo from one artist named James Jean. This is one of them right here. This is the first piece that I got from him. It's this entire crazy piece of art that basically is like a, the final march or, you know, walking into your death or into the afterlife. I love this guy's art so much that I've got a couple of his pieces tattooed on my skin. So you can see I'm a bit of a stan for James Jean. And then over here, I have my very, very coveted entertainment portion of the condo. I love music. So I'm always playing records. Big video game fan, so I've got the PS5, naturally. Uh, the Nintendo Switch. My speakers are effing killer. They have a amplifier built into them so they can go right into the record player. They're amazing, they're called Canto Tux. Highly suggest you check it out if you're an audiophile. And then of course, this beautiful flat screen Samsung 4K TV, which, um, you know, 
gives me a boner. And then over here, I've got my record collection, but also kind of a piece of art in and of itself. So I like to be able to put my records up on the wall. I kind of switch these out every so often. I think musicians' art is really, really beautiful and really important. Coming into the kitchen, this is where I prep all my meals. I do a lot of cooking, actually, and really picked up cooking big time right when the pandemic popped off. Not gonna lie, I'm a HelloFresh guy. This is not brought to you by HelloFresh, but it could be because I've spent so much money on those delivery boxes uh, that they owe me. This is the kitchen area where everything is uh, kind of kept. This is a really cool design. So the way that it's slanted, the reason this is slanted like this is because the unit next to mine, the entryway is a stairway up to the second level. But it's cool that they kind of incorporated that into the design of the kitchen. You can see here too that I don't have much in terms of dishes. I actually have more than one plate. This thing's pretty handy. You know, I'm not sure if this is caught on yet in the world, but it's called a dishwasher. So I don't have to do it with my hands. It's amazing. You just put them in there, chuck in some soap, press a button, and then it does it for you. This is where I keep my uh, human treats and dog treats. When I'm a good boy, I get a bowl of this. And when he's a good boy, he gets a bowl of this. Also got the very essential bar set up here, swapping out, you know, tequila, rum, bourbon. Also need to fill this, but keep it filled usually with treats. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, no noise. These crystal glasses are really great. Also a gift from Dave, thanks Dave. Actually, this entire place is just filled with gifts from Dave, so. This is another James Jean piece. It's a bunch of rabbit-headed humans having an orgy, so that's fun. Speaking of orgies, uh, this is my bedroom. The bed actually came with the place, so when we bought this space, <laughs> can you not? Give me that toy, you little toot. It's too noisy, it's too noisy. When we bought the place, the woman who was selling it to us had this bed here, she didn't want to take it, and it actually fit quite well in the condo, so uh, we just worked it into the deal, and she left it for us, which was really great. Oh, hi, Jonah. Hi, dear. Yes, yeah, so these sliding walls are really great. Uh, provides a little bit of privacy, you know, if I had people over and I don't want them looking at the absolute disaster that my bedroom can be in. I can just slide these closed. It's also nice to be able to open it up because it does, again, provide a lot more openness, a lot more space, and then coupled with the full length floor to ceiling mirrors in the bedroom, that also kind of like makes it the space feel a lot bigger than it actually is. So if I feel like I'm a little claustrophobic, I just open these up and look into the void of the mirror and imagine that my place is actually 490 six square meters instead of square feet. Also a big fan of Hue lighting. So is Donut, he loves the Hue. Fun part about having the Hue lighting is, you know, I can set the mood in here. If I'm feeling a little spooky, you know, just watched a horror movie, I can change the lights to like a blood red. If I'm feeling really uh, sick to my stomach, I can turn it green. I love smart everything, but smart lighting just really does change the way that your space feels. And then this is my bathroom. I got some artwork up in here, artwork that was sent to me from uh, fans of one of the podcasts that I do. And then I have the shrine for Bigby. This is my dog that passed away in 2020. So I like to come in here, sit down on the throne, take a dump and just reminisce about my best bud. And then of course we can do laundry. They tuck this in here real, real tight. But I just love that everything has its own little space. And that is the tour of my cozy little, not tiny home, tiny home. Thanks for joining me. And hey, if you're ever in the neighborhood, stop by, say hello. Why you doing it? See you guys.